McQueen, welcome to the show, mate. Welcome, mate. Yes. Thank, thanks for coming on, Athol. You, you come from uh, Kyogle. Did I say that yeah, properly? Mate, a little place up in the north end of uh, New South Wales. Yeah. Now, how old are, how old are you these days, Athol, without me? 77, being... mate. 77. And how old were you when the, when you knocked down the, J, the, the great Joe Fraser in the 1964? 23. 23. Tell us about that. Not worry. You knocked him down in the 1964 Tokyo Olympics, Joe Fraser. How did that feel? Oh, it felt good, but if I know what I know now, I'd have sat on him and wouldn't have let him up. <laughs> well, he went on. I, I, I read in, I've read in books that you were the first guy to ever knock him down. Yeah, that's right. I was the first, mate. There's been a couple of things, but I was the first, Paul. Well, wow, mate, it would have been a buzz getting picked to represent Australia in, in the Olympics back in the day, mate. It would have been, it's every fighter's dream. What what a feeling it would have been. It was. It uh, to come off a little dairy farm at Kyogle and uh, represent your country, it was uh, a big honour. Now, what got you in the boxing, Athel, after? What got you in the boxing, mate? Well, I was about 12 or 13 and the next door neighbour's kids doing something <laughs> Something happened, I called him a, a, a big bastard, but anyhow, yeah. he was a little bit dark in <laughs> colour, and he gave me a hiding for a time. That was well worth it. <laughs> and you went on to have uh, 70-odd amateur fights? No, I had uh, 86, 86 fights and 170. Wow, what a record. And you travelled all over Australia and the world, I gather? Yeah, fought in every state in Australia, New Zealand and Tokyo. What was some, apart from uh, knocking Joe Fraser down, what were some of the other big-name fighters you beat back in your amateur day? Tony Madigan was the only bloke that got two decisions over. Wow. Cassius Clay in the 60s. He Olympics. did. Jeez, you had a very um, colourful amateur career, uh, Athol. You never turned professional, did you, mate? No, never turned pro. Um, yeah. But still doing a bit with the amateurs. Went up and gave my hand at the Commonwealth Games and... Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Uh, tell us about the Japanese fighter you fought in that same... Was it the same Tokyo Games you fought the Jap fighter? Yeah, yeah. Well, what happened... I mean, my mother lost a brother in the war and never forgive them. And when the Olympics were at Tokyo, she wished me all the best and she kept said to me on the side, she said, you get a chance, smack a Jap in the mouth for me, will you? <laughs> and it was a bit odd for Mum to say that, but yeah. anyhow... When we got over there, the draw came out for the heavyweight. Australia drew Japan, so I got a Japanese heavyweight first fight. You know, and he never stood a chance of beating me because every time I give him one, I give him one for mum too. <laughs> so yeah. he was actually boxing two of us, you know, me and mum. Jeez, eh? That's a, that's a great and story. The winner of that had to fight the winner of America and some other Islander, and that was Joe Frazier. So. Yeah. Had I got him around the, the system a little bit in the drawers, mm -hmm. I could have come home with probably a silver medal. Yeah, what, did you get a medal at all, a bronze, no? No, I got a black wine, mate, that's what I got. <laughs> You're funny, Apple. So uh, it... I, I tell you another little story, there was a bloke sitting at the ringside and I didn't know he was going to be there, but he was a Joe Cliff from mm -hmm. Kyogre and he was an account. Mm -hmm. And I always said to him afterwards, because when Frazier put the big left hook on me and had me on the canvas, I can hear him, his boy saying, get up, Guy Ogle, get up, Guy Ogle. Really? And I always said to him, you're the bastard that caused me. If I'd have stayed down, I wouldn't have got near as Jeez, eh? Yeah. So that, that fight put... Put uh, Joe Fraser in then a gold medal fight into the final yeah, for the gold. the gold medal. Jeez, you were so close, Athol. And uh, Cassius Clay got it to the Olympics before. Mm -hmm. And he was lucky to beat Madigan. Even the Jack, uh, Americans reckon that uh, Madigan sort of got the, the should have got the decision, but then, well, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Now, any brothers or sisters that got in the boxing as well, uh, Athol, back in the day? Uh, what was that, uh, Paul? Do you have any brothers that took up boxing as well? Or were you yeah, my brother Norm, he was a heavyweight. Mm -hmm. he, uh, I was light heavy for a while, yeah. and he pulled out and I took the heavy on. Yeah, right, okay. 
Geez, eh? What else happened in... What, who else did you beat back in the day, Affle? There's got to be some others. Well, uh, Johnny Logan, he was the, the Kiwi uh, heavyweight. I fought Johnny and beat him, and uh, Bill Lee Kelly was the gold medal and, and silver medal at the Empire Games. Yeah. I fought Bill twice, got one decision each, so he did, man, we got one each. And you ended up meeting up with Joe Fraser at Joe Bugner's uh, birthday. It was a few years ago now up on the Goldie, mate. Yeah, yeah, Joe came out for Joe Bugner's 60th birthday, and uh, we had a couple of half days together. How good's that? Yeah. Just actually and talking. went home and got crook, and uh, five months later he was passed away with... Uh, liver cancer. Oh, jeez, it was five months after you caught up with him. What a shame. Yeah, what a yeah. shame. It's just a blessing that he came out and saw me beforehand, you know. Yeah, did you actually talk about your bout back in 64? Oh, yeah. Did yeah. you? <laughs> you reminded him, Athol, about the knockdown? Oh, bloody hell, I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did he say? Uh, well, he, he was a good, good sport. We had yeah. a good couple of half days together. Oh, that's great. What did you do? Just, uh, you just show him around Queensland a bit, did you? Oh, yeah, been around Brisbane and the Gold Coast. Yeah. Function at the Gold Coast and the function in Brisbane, so. Yeah. That was good. Did he uh, talk about Muhammad Ali much at all, his fights with him? Not, not a lot. Yeah. He had a car accident and, he, and he, they followed him around with a wheelchair a bit. Oh, really? Yeah. He up for a while and then he had to sit down. So yeah. He had six operations on his back. He told him what. Did he? Jeez. Geez, eh? Uh, did you ever catch up with any of your other fighters you fought back in the past, Athol, or was, was oh, it just... Oh, yeah, we were always catching up. I loved going down to Sydney and had, had a good reunion there. Saw you and all the boys there, and then the next week you wouldn't read about it was Melbourne's uh, reunion on. So I, I turned up at Melbourne. Off you, went, off you went to Melbourne as well. You get around, Athol. Well, I would have met you, and at, at the veteran boxes, what, probably, for, what, five, ten years, five to... Five, six, yeah. seven, eight, ten years yeah. ago. Yeah. That's why I love going to these uh, veteran boxes, Athol. I'm probably one of the youngest guys that go, but I haven't missed too many since I give it away. And just to gather and rub shoulders with guys like yourself is a bloody honour, mate. That's all I can say. Well, there's an old saying, Paul, if you, if you don't go to them, uh, the next time you, you go to them, you say, oh, where's Bill? Where's John? Yeah. Oh, he fell off the perch, you know? Yeah, exactly. You, you lose contact with people if you don't go. Yeah, that's so true. Well, I'll, I'll make an effort to go every year. And it's great to have a, t a bit of a chat, and uh, we go through a few rounds, you know, and come out with a, 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 a nose bent a little bit, but it's a good day. <laughs> Mate, you always liven up these uh, veteran boxes. I was disappointed they never got you up there last time to, to, to um, tell your stories. I mean, I was yeah. remember I was egging them on. Get him up there. Yeah, Come on. I, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, a look, it's been great having you on, on the show, mate. Thanks for coming on. And it's been good for the invitation, mate. Yeah, no, nah, thanks. What I've got to do now is uh, get me uh, accommodation in Darwin Airport and get me back home for the next Olympics in two years' time. Two years' time, mate, eh, you'll go for sure. I'd love to go back. Yeah, what's stopping you, mate? I'm going to ring up, try and get back in contact with the uh, Japanese boxer that I fought. Yeah. And we'll see if he's got a spare room. Yeah, what, mate, why not? I bet he's obliged to if you do get on to him. Yeah. You reckon and he'll... I won't have mum with me this time. <laughs> you reckon he'll still talk to you after giving him one for you and two for your mum? You think he'll still talk to you? <laughs> Good on you, Apple. Thank you so much for coming on Radio 2 BACR, mate. And, and thanks for the invitation, mate. Thanks, Apple. OK. All the best in your trip overseas. Thanks a lot, buddy. OK, mate. Catch you, Paul. See you, mate. Bye now. And that was Athol McQueen. What a character he is. You heard, that, you heard it right there. He put Joe Fraser down and now he wishes he sat on him because he got back up and went on to do great things in boxing. This next song is one of my best. Don't go away. We'll be back very shortly.